Welcome to Star Technology 5G. In this video, we will discuss what cloud computing is and why it is important for us. Let's start the video. What is cloud? The cloud refers to servers that are accessed over the internet, and the software and databases that run on those servers. Cloud servers are located in data centers all over the world. By using cloud computing, users and companies do not have to manage physical servers themselves or run software applications on their own machines. Cloud storage has grown increasingly popular among individuals who need larger storage space and for businesses seeking an efficient off-site data backup solution. Cloud-based storage makes it possible to save files to a remote database and retrieve them on demand. Cloud computing is a popular option for people and businesses for a number of reasons including cost savings, increased productivity, speed and efficiency, performance, and security. What is cloud computing? Cloud computing is the delivery of different services through the internet. These resources include tools and applications like data storage, servers, databases, networking, and software. Cloud computing is the on-demand availability of computer system resources, especially data storage, cloud storage, without direct active management by the user. Rather than keeping files on a proprietary hard drive or local storage device, cloud-based storage makes it possible to save them to a remote database. Cloud computing is named as such because the information being accessed is found remotely in the cloud or a virtual space. Companies that provide cloud services enable users to store files and applications on remote servers and then access all the data via the internet. This means the user is not required to be in a specific place to gain access to it, allowing the user to work remotely. Cloud computing takes all the heavy lifting involved in crunching and processing data away from the device you carry around or sit and work at. It also moves all of that work to huge computer clusters far away in cyberspace. The internet becomes the cloud, and applications are available from any device with which you can connect to the internet, anywhere in the world. How does cloud computing work? Cloud computing is possible because of a technology called virtualization. Virtualization allows for the creation of a simulated, digital-only virtual computer that behaves as if it were a physical computer with its own hardware. The technical term for such a computer is virtual machine. When properly implemented, virtual machines on the same host machine are sandboxed from one another, so they do not interact with each other at all, and the files and applications from one virtual machine are not visible to the other virtual machines even though they are on the same physical machine. Virtual machines also make more efficient use of the hardware hosting them. By running many virtual machines at once, one server becomes many servers, and a data center becomes a whole host of data centers, able to serve many organizations. Cloud providers can offer the use of their servers to far more customers at once than they would be able to otherwise, and they can do so at a low cost. Even if individual servers go down, cloud servers in general should be always online and always available. Cloud vendors generally back up their services on multiple machines and across multiple regions. Users access cloud services either through a browser or through an app, connecting to the cloud over the internet that is, through many interconnected networks regardless of what device they are using. Service Models of Cloud Computing Cloud computing is not a single piece of technology like a microchip or a cell phone. Rather, it's a system primarily comprised of three services. Software as a Service SAAS. Platform as a Service PAAS. And Infrastructure as a Service IAAS. Each cloud service model covers different user and company needs, and provides a different level of control, security, and scalability. Service Models of Cloud Computing Software as a Service SAAS. Instead of users installing an application on their device, SAAS applications are hosted on cloud servers, and users access them over the internet. SAAS is like renting a house, the landlord maintains the house, but the tenant mostly gets to use it as if they owned it. 
Examples of SaaS applications include Salesforce, MailChimp, and Slack. Platform as a Service PaaS. In this model, companies don't pay for hosted applications, instead they pay for the things they need to build their own applications. PaaS vendors offer everything necessary for building an application, including development tools, infrastructure, and operating systems, over the internet. PaaS can be compared to renting all the tools and equipment necessary for building a house, instead of renting the house itself. PaaS examples include Heroku and Microsoft Azure. Infrastructure as a Service IAAS. In this model, a company rents the servers and storage they need from a cloud provider. They then use that cloud infrastructure to build their applications. IAAS is like a company leasing a plot of land on which they can build whatever they want but they need to provide their own building equipment and materials. IAAS providers include DigitalOcean, Google Compute Engine, and OpenStack. Different Types of Cloud According to the above model, cloud computing is divided into four main types. Private Clouds Public Clouds Hybrid Clouds and multi-clouds. Private cloud. The private cloud, also known as the virtual private cloud. A virtual private cloud, VPC, is a secure, isolated private cloud hosted within a public cloud. VPC customers can run code, store data, host websites, and do anything else they could do in an ordinary private cloud, but the private cloud is hosted remotely by a public cloud provider. Not all private clouds are hosted in this fashion. VPCs combine the scalability and convenience of public cloud computing with the data isolation of private cloud computing. Public Cloud A public cloud is a cloud service offered to multiple customers by a cloud provider. The term public cloud is used to differentiate between the original cloud model of services accessed over the internet and the private cloud model. Public clouds include SaaS, PaaS, and IaaS services. Like all cloud services, a public cloud service runs on remote servers that a provider manages. Customers of that provider access those services over the internet. Hybrid cloud a hybrid cloud mixes two or more types of cloud environments. Hybrid cloud deployments combine public asterisk and private clouds, and they may also include on-premise legacy infrastructure. For a cloud to truly be hybrid, these different cloud environments must be tightly interconnected with each other, essentially functioning as one combined infrastructure. Almost all hybrid clouds include at least one. Public cloud Hybrid clouds have a number of uses. An organization may use their private cloud for some services and their public cloud for others, or they may use the public cloud as backup for their private cloud. They can also use the public cloud to handle periods of high demand, while keeping most operations within their private cloud. Multi-cloud In cloud computing, a cloud is a collection of servers that cloud customers access over the internet. Typically, each cloud is managed by a cloud provider, a company that offers cloud services. A public cloud is a cloud that more than one customer shares. Multi-cloud deployments have a number of uses. A multi-cloud deployment can leverage multiple IaaS, infrastructure as a service, vendors, or it could use a different vendor for IaaS, PaaS, platform as a service, and SaaS, software as a service, services. Multi-cloud can be purely for the purpose of redundancy and system backup, or it can incorporate different cloud vendors for different services. Google Drive Google Drive is an example of cloud computing. Google Drive is a file storage and synchronization service developed by Google. Google Drive is a free service that allows users to store files in the cloud, on Google servers, synchronize files across devices, and share files. In addition to a web interface, Google Drive offers apps with offline capabilities for Windows and Mac OS computers and Android and iOS smartphones and tablets. Google Drive offers users 15 GB of free storage through Google One. Google One also offers 100 GB, 
200 GB, 2 TB, offered through optional paid plans. Why use Google Drive? Google Drive is one of the most popular cloud storage services available today. If you've never used a cloud-based storage service like Google Drive before, take a moment to consider the advantages of keeping your files online. Because files can be accessed from any computer with an internet connection, Drive eliminates the need to email or save a file to a USB drive. And because Drive allows you to share files, working with others becomes much easier. Open any internet browser. Download OneDrive from Google. Open the first link. And then select Download Drive for Desktop. The file is downloading. Downloaded completed. Now click on Go to Drive. Here is my Google Drive. You can also access this drive without downloading the desktop drive. Here is the available storage for my drive, I already use 7.66 GB. If you want to buy more storage, you can click on it. Here is the package available for more storage. Now install this application. Click the application twice. Add an application shortcut to your desktop. Install. You have to sign in to your Gmail account. Close. Here is my Google Drive. Double click on Drive. My Drive. You can see all of the data that I copied into Drive is here. Now Google Drive is also work like the local drive in computer. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Star Technology 5G. Please like and share the video.